Come, Holy Spirit, bless these unworthy priests that I may share with the heart, not just with the lips. I share with humility and with love and that people listen with their heart, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit. Sisters and brothers, happy feast, happy solemnity of the Immaculate Conception. And uh, Mama Mary was born without sin. So, and we like to remember the conceived without sin. Remember the parents of Mama Mary. Sino? Sino ang grandparents ni Jesus? Anne and Joachim. Yes. At feast day rin ngayon ng marami. Tignan Conception. Lahat ng mga conception. Oh, my mama's name is Conception. It's her birthday. She would be... She would have been 100 years old today. Thank you, mama. Conching. Yan. May mga... Ano pa? Concha. Conchita. Oh. Yon. Conrad. Ah, oh, pwede na rin sila, Father Conrad, no? <laughs> Yung Imaculada, yan. Ima. <laughs> uh, Kulada. Yeah. Oh, that, you know, we always put something. Uy, pati mga Marites, yun know? Very Marian yan. Kasi may ibang ginawang connotation. Marites means mare, tiis. Oh, tiis lang. Yung mga ma- nagtitiis. It's like Mama Mary. Patience. No? Maricon. Oh. Mare, confession ka na. Yung, yung marunong mag-penance. Mm. Mare B. Oh, mare, bigay ka na pera, bigay ka tulong. Yun, mga, so, you know, a lot of the virtues we are trying sinusubukan natin gawin we find in Mama Mary. Why? Because she was full of grace. We honor Mama Mary today, but you know who was the first one, the very first one who honored Mama Mary? The angel. Gabriel. She was the first one who said, Hail Mary. Hail is a greeting, salve. Oh, greetings. Oh, hello. Yes. Mary. It's a salutation. Hail Mary. Full of grace. That is what describes Mama Mary most. She was full of grace. Sino po ang full of grace? Whoever has the Lord in his heart, his or her heart, in her life, full of grace yan. The presence of God in you, mga kapatid, tayo. What are we full of? What are you full of? We reflect today, she was full of grace. Tayo? Many of us are full of pride. Puno ng yawan. Many of us are full of anger. Puno ng tapang. Galit. At marami sa atin, punong-puno. Punong-puno ng sarili. That's as simple as that. So full of you. We're not full of grace. So this is the first thing Mama Mary reminds us all. Let's look into our lives. Are we full of the presence of God? Or are we so full of ourselves, of our own agenda, of our own hang-ups, etc.? Hmm. 
Many of you are full of wealth. Congratulations. But don't forget to be full of God. Because in the end, all that wealth will amount to nothing. Many of us are full of sin. Have mercy on me, O oh God. I am a sinner. I have weaknesses. I have failures. But the redeeming thing always is, the Lord is with you. Never forget that, mga kapatid. Beautiful for us who are troubled, the Lord is with you. Right now, whatever is troubling you, just remember, the Lord is with you. You are not alone. Be confident that the Lord is with you. And the other thing that the angel said was, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Do not be afraid. We have many fears. I was talking to somebody who could not sleep. Why? He is afraid to die if he sleeps. Wow. Sabi ko sa kanya, if you don't sleep, you will die. Ang dami tayong fears. COVID has instilled so much fears in us. Feeling ko kumisan, parang tinatakot na tayo lang. Again, what is the antidote to fear? Anong panlaban ng fear? Faith. Your faith mask helps you conquer your fears. As we always say, face your fears. Face the light. The shadow is behind you now. Mary had to face something she could not understand. She was a young teenager. Will become a mother of God. No relations with the man. This was too much for a young girl. But interesting. She said, she, she listened in explaining angel. And in the end, what really hit her was what the angel said. For nothing will be impossible for God. Okay, what seems to be impossible for you right now? Right now, anong parang imposible? Imposible, imposible na. Wala na to. Maybe there's a sick relative or friend or loved one. Parang imposible na. Listen, the angel said, for nothing is impossible with God. Oh, impossible na siguro, Father, na magbago ako. Talagang ganito na ako eh. Ganito mo gali ko. Ganito mga values ko. The angel said, nothing will be impossible for God. What else? Ano siguro mangyayari sa bayan natin? Pare-pareho na lang. Sino na naman mga mahahalan? Parang, will goodness still have a, a part in our, the way we run our government? Nothing is impossible for God. If God wills it, it will happen. Goodness triumphs over evil. What is it? Today in this Mass, Mama Mary, you present, parang impossible na yata, na magkabalikan pa kayo. <laughs> Yung mga love life dyan, na parang impossible na huyata, Father. Well, just believe, trust, and surrender. Okay? And God is a God of surprises. Yeah. If you believe, Nothing is impossible. So, 
This is the thing we need to learn from Mama Mary. She kept believing. There were no clear answers, but she kept following the light. Against all odds. And this is the beautiful thing, response to Mama Mary. Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Sisters and brothers, servant. Ito po sana ang lagay natin sa isip, sa puso natin. Katulong lang tayo. Alipin. We are not gods. So as long as you think you are God, you can control everything, everyone. You're far from being a real Marian, a real daughter, a real son of Mary. She teaches us again, just obey. Obey God's will. You are a servant. You serve. So today, sisters and brothers, as we honor Mama Mary, the best way to honor her is to imitate her virtues. Follow her. So, the virtues of Mama Mary, the four Ps, check your life. Prayer. Pray for more. And please, when you pray, you listen. You really listen. Because if you don't listen, you're just dictating to the Lord. Nothing really changes. It's just a feel good. It's just feel safe feeling. Or obligation lang yan. So, Mama Mary, please teach us to listen more. Talk less. Second, we learn from Mama Mary is penance in our lives. Atonement. Reparation. Kung wala po tayong sense of sin, sense of penance, we go on with our usual selves. Parang, you know, ang tao po nagbabago kung sabi niya, oh, marami akong pagkakamali. I want to make up. Payback time na eh. And uh, hanggat kaya ko pa, I'll do my best. The rest of my life, the best of my life na. Penance means, oh, I, I pray also for people who are sinning against God. Reparation on behalf of the others who, like many times, I just, I just pray, well, in humility, I pray the breviary. And one intention is, I pray this, Lord, on behalf of priests who do not pray the breviary anymore, who don't have time to pray the breviary. It's a small offering, but that sense of reparation, uh, we, are all, we all need redemption. Tulong -tulong po tayo. Third, P, patience, paciencia. Things don't happen as we plan them according to our timetable. Be patient. Pasensya lang. Maghintay kalamang. Something will happen. God will surprise us. God never forgets His promise. At sinasabi po nila, when God chooses, He never gives up on those whom he chooses. Permanent and calling. If the Lord calls, he will continue to call you again and again. Pasensya lang po. And finally, perseverance. Till the end. Go the distance. Till the end. And you can do that if you're focused on the Lord, not on the load. Not on the load of problems that distract you. Not on the load of material blessings that blind you. Persevere. And the final, the final, the final destination of our journey to God's heart is 
to go to heaven. That's what Mama Mary will always do. She, she brings us closer to her son, brings the way, the truth, and the life, and bring us to heaven. Yes, interesting about a guy who went to heaven now, and the Lord met him. Oh, Sabirani Lord. Oh, Don, Sabirani Lord, no? Don Pangalini. Eh? And sabi ni, ni Don, y you know me? Oh yes, Don, I know you. But I am a sinner, you know, I, I, I never talk to you. I, I, I know you. Why do you know me? My mother told me about you. How, how did your mother know about me? Your mother on earth always talked to my mother about you. In the end, Mama Mary will bring us to her son. I always pray a very simple prayer. If your devotion to Mama Mary is not from the heart, not really desperate, it becomes just a devotion. Devotee ka lang. But make sure that it's from the heart, like, like a child. Many times I, I go to Mama Mary and say, Mama Mary, you are my mother. Uh, please say hello, to, say hello to my mama in heaven. And Mama Mary, please help me, huh? Mama Mary, make exceptions for me, huh? Para makarating ako sa langit. Marami, hindi, baka siguro, hindi ako makakarating, pero I know you will make exceptions. You will help me, Mama Mary. This kind of prayer, a child, this is the prayer we should all learn. Go to your mother and she will help you. Go to your mother, she will help your family. Go to your mother, she will help our beloved country, the Philippines. Go to your mother, she will help this world that the Lord loves so much. That she gave, he gave his only begotten son. Our queen, our mother, remember that we are your very own. Defend and protect us as your personal possession. Amen and Amen.